Okay, this microphone kind of sucks, but basically what I've done is I've taken those outer brackets after I chopped it up in the last video, and I've disassembled them. They have a little floating nut that holds the, the bumper mount bracket on, or whatever you want to call it. And just took a quick grinder to everything with a flap disc, got them kind of clean, threw some basic flat black spray paint on them, and now I'm just reassembling them. Um, after I reassemble them, I'll reattach them into the roll pan, and that part will be done. Okay, I want an opinion here. I have this rear sway bar in the truck, 
And if I'm going to vertically mounted Viking shocks, double adjustable shocks, and I'm mostly drag racing, should I even bother putting that back in or just ditch it for the weight savings? Let me know, comment, whatever. Let me know what you think. All right, so I'm done with my roll pan. Took my sway bar and my shocks out. I'm gonna cut those off. We don't need those anymore. Talking about the stud down there. Uh, I just finished putting the whole roll pan back together and the weight on that came out to nine pounds, which means I lost 13 pounds off the back of the car. I'd say it was worth the effort. Um, so next I need to just kind of move my wiring and my trans stuff forward out of the way and then cut these mounts out and then we're going to cut this brake bracket and all I'm going to do with it is I'm going to basically knock it off the frame and move it forward so that this brake line sits over the axle out of the way of the shocks and then we'll clean everything up and move forward with fabrication stuff.